five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. Unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See that the chamber pressures are nominal as we hear. All 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Up, they're going to back off those engines just a bit. So we're getting ready to head into max, max power and telemetry nominal. And it's amazing, Tom, isn't it, how quickly it gets up into the darkness on the edge of space. And I, I assume we're going to see those boosters fall away at some point. And you said they've been used before. They potentially be able to be uh, used again. Potentially, I'm, they have a limited lifespan. I think 23 launches is when SpaceX retires them. I'm not certain whether these are going to do another mission, but that's the, that's the idea. I know they retired a couple of boosters on the last Falcon Heavy launch they did. Um, but yeah, these things never cease to amaze me. No. It's still an incredible thing to see. And look how quickly it's got up there. You can see the curve of the Earth, of course. So it's past a crucial moment now. It's gone through what's called maximum dynamic pressure, which is the, the, the highest loads on the spacecraft and on that very precious, very expensive cargo that's carrying. And the thing I'm always worried about, because I talk to the scientists who work on the the missions that go on these rockets. They've worked sometimes their entire career on this one space probe. Everything they've done has been up to this one moment. If, you know, if we find this exciting to watch, they find it terrifying, because <laughs> this is the highest risk moment in any space mission. And it's got a long way to go. And how long is it going to take, Tom, before it even gets close to Europa? It's, it's going to be a six-year journey to get there. There's always a compromise for these missions to go long distance. You want to carry as much payload, science experiments, as you can. So you want to reduce the amount of fuel you take. That means you use the gravitational pull of other solar system bodies, other planets, to slingshot you out to your destination. It means it takes a lot, lot longer. You could get to Jupiter quicker, but you couldn't take as much kit with you to do science when you get there. So that's the compromise. It's going to take its sweet time to get there, but it'll take a very large suite of instruments to study it when it arrives. And that's the compromise.